Let's assume your boss walks up to you and tells you that tomorrow there is a client visit and I want to showcase something in Gen AI. Okay? So, you are not prepared to do this, you have limited time and you want to build something quickly in Gen AI for demo purpose. So, this is a problem at hand and I am going to solve the same problem in this video. I am going to show you how quickly you can build some Gen AI apps that you can use for demo purposes and to impress people new to the world of Gen AI and mostly AI. Let's see that. So guys, without wasting any time, let's go ahead and try to do the integration of OpenAI with local Python, okay? And for that, what I have done here is, I have stored my OpenAI key in a file called mykey.py, okay? So this is a safer way of doing it in case you are sharing screen and these things, right? Otherwise, you can pass your key as a string also, no problem. So what I have done here, I have put my key inside a file called mykey.py and I'll go to my Python script and I will import my key as you can see here. So what I'm doing here, I'm importing OpenAI, I'm importing OS, I'm importing my key. Then I'm just taking from that stored file, I'm taking the key, okay? I'm passing that as one of the environment variable and I'm passing in OpenAI that key as an environment variable. So nothing fancy happening here, guys. I'm just picking the key from this file and I'm passing it to OpenAI module, okay? The bridge is this environment variable because it's better to do this. If you do in collab, et cetera, sometimes it gives issues. So if you do like this, right, it's uh, safer and easier to do it, okay? So I have passed my key and now I can write a prompt like this. Give a stepwise process to prepare cake. Okay, and I will simply say client.completions.create model I'll use GPT 3.5 turbo prompt maximum tokens temperature is something based one parameter of LLM based on which LLM becomes more creative or more stable and more, um, you know, uh, it is basically how creative and how much freedom you are giving to your model. Okay, so more temperature means more freedom and more creative. Less temperature means model will give you stable outputs. Okay. And here what I'm doing, I'm just taking the text and I'm printing it, whatever the response. As you can see, this is app aman1.py file in my uh, Anaconda or Jupyter. So I will simply go to my Anaconda prompt here and I will call that file. For example, Python app, let me see the spelling, aman app1.py, okay? Aman app1.py, okay? So let me call this file here. And what I'm expecting in is based on this prompt, right? It should get me the response from OpenAI. Okay. Since I have asked for a stepwise process to make pizza, so it is taking some uh, cake, so it is taking some time. Okay. So 13 step process, as you can see, I have got from my OpenAI that response. Now, if I go ahead and change the process here, for example, give me a stepwise process to apply for job as fresher okay apply for job as fresher i will just clear screen and i will rerun so when i rerun you can see that you know my uh, my prompt will go hit the server and get the result meanwhile what i'm going to do is i'm going to change few things here so if you are seeing here i'm passing the prompt as one hard coded value what if i want to make an app and pass this through an app okay so let me try doing this Meanwhile, the, the response has come, identify your career goals, follow up, et cetera. So this is your job searching stepwise process, okay? Second prompt. Now let me go ahead and import a package called Streamlit, which gives you a very nice and easy way of um, creating applications, okay? Uh, import Streamlit as ST, I will say, and I will just give title to my app, okay? And I will say Aman, app for aman app for fun okay and this time my intention is not to pass the prompt directly rather take from the user so what i'm going to say is user underscore input is equal to st dot text underscore input and i'm going to say here please please enter please enter 
prompt here okay so whatever prompt i want once the input comes right i will pass this input in my previously i was hard code hard coding now i will pass this and when the response comes right in place of print uh, generated text right i will write in the output so i will say st dot write okay and what i want to write i want to write the generated text okay so let's save this and let's try to run this here so let me go here and i will again say cls and this time we have to run using streamlit okay because this is an app streamlit run amman app one dot py let's see what happens so if everything works as expected we will see a web page here and once this web page comes right we can ask a question here modern streamlit text okay i think some mis misspelling has happened so let me go back and correct it quickly so text input 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 text input okay so meanwhile every time there is some issue in a streamlit app you should press a control c okay that will stop it and then you can relaunch it okay so if you first close the browser right sometimes it becomes a problem so control c and then close browser then relaunch the app okay so that's what i'm trying here and this time i'm hoping a text box will come and we can enter our prompt there so please enter prompt here give give me a nice joke okay why don't scientists trust atoms because they make up give me a nice joke about boss okay so some some jokes are coming so what i'm trying to say is this is a app that can be deployed and this is giving you some jokes or whatever it is um, you know whatever you ask here it will come okay so for example i can also ask give me a give me a way to get promotion in job okay so this is coming from openai now this is a very basic app that i have built we can make it little more uh, little more interesting okay so let me go and try to do that so it is giving you a basic way to get a promotion in job now what i want to do is i want to first of all control c so that my app should be stopped and then close from here let's go here and take one more input okay so for example user input one and user input two okay and this app i will make it as aman app for recipe generator so i'm just trying to show you guys how you can play around with all this and make some lovely things for you okay so please enter your first ingredient okay and here i will say i have just two ingredients and i want to make an app okay uh, make a recipe okay please enter your second ingredient and in the in the prompt right what i'm going to say is i'm going to say uh, suggest suggest a good suggest a good indian recipe using okay and then i will do a plus and i will take this variable using let me give a space here this plus and okay plus second one so what i want to do here i want to just get a good indian recipe from these two uh, prompts okay these two inputs let me try running the app again let's see what happens please enter your first ingredient let's say oats please enter your second ingredient let's say honey and let me see what the response is oats and honey granola bars okay so this is the first one uh, let me take rice and let me take honey okay so this is they should give me some rice and honey combination for indian recipe indian i have mentioned or not i just want to see yeah indian i have mentioned so i'm, I'm expecting an indian recipe only okay so it is taking some time maybe this is a weird combination rice and honey but still let's see what the open ai has to say okay honey glazed vegetable plow 
okay so this you can make like this and this is second app now the third app is basically uh, another interesting app so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take the select box of streamlit this time okay so let me go here and the name of the app will be let's say aman app for message generator this time okay and in message generator what what i want to do is i want to if you go to streamlit page i'm i'm knowingly showing you the documentation because you can try out multiple things here what i am trying to do here is i'm trying to put a select box here okay like this and let me try to show you what i mean by that let me comment this let me comment this and i will go here and i will say option 1 okay option 1 please enter your relation please enter your relation and here i will say mother okay father mother father okay sibling sibling then i will say boss and then i will say wife okay so these many relations i'm taking and i will say what is my context of the message okay please select your context okay so i will say thank you i will say plan holiday i will say apology okay and i will say um, let's say leave applying leave something applying leave and let, let, let's keep it up to here only okay so these relations and these are the contexts what i will say here is um write a message write a message message to my okay and then first input which is option one option one and um about i will say about about and i will take this okay let me save this and let me run the app one more time to see what happens now so app is running so i will just stop it first and i will close this also and then our app has changed now okay so let me run one more time and see what happens so when i run one more time i should be able to see two uh, select boxes there one select box for relation for example mother other select box is thank you and i think one version of app is running in background so it says dear mom i want to take a moment of gratitude to so thank you blah 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 i will go here and say wife and same thank you so this is my dearest wife i want to take a moment and if i say boss or if i say wife and let's say apology then maybe a different context a different message will come okay and if i say here sibling and apology then tone of the message and uh, content of the message will change so what what you can do here is you can change this temperature and there is something called top p also that parameter also you can change and see how the message is behaving differently but more importantly how we can make quickly the apps using streamlit and open ai package right and in streamlit if you go many many options are there for example i can put a slider here and in that slider i can set my temperature okay and uh, um, many many things can be done okay so for example i can i can tweak tweak my prompt such that it takes input from here all these things can be done which uh, i leave it to you for practice but the, the intention was to show you how we can quickly build apps and multiple flavors we can build okay i'll see you all in the next video guys wherever you are stay safe and take care